This is very important. The success of marriage comes not finding the right person, but in the ability of both partners to adjust in the real person, inevitably realize they marry. Be separated, only God can separate them. How? When one of them die. Yeah. As long as they're living together, God does not want a divorce. Okay, your parents. Okay? Is that good? That, that is the instruction of God from Apo. God. Yeah. So, you know now? Huh? Character is this. A model and responsible man is striving for the future of his family, particularly to his children, spiritually and materially. Possess a leadership by example. That's it. Okay, we are talking about now about the success of marriage and uh, there are three about these matters and number one is memories of togetherness number two forgiveness of mistakes and number three is the process to never give up on each other wife uh, to her husband so please read it Ephesians 5 22 to 23 wives submit yourselves to your own husband as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the Savior. Okay. His wife. And please read the before being the husband. Ephesians 5, verse 25. Husband, love your wife just as Christ loved the church and gave him himself up for her. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 33, it says, However, it's one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself. And the wife must respect the rights to the children. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4, says, Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. The parents uh, should discipline also their children in a good way. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 18 says, Discipline your children for in that there is hope. Do not be a willing party to their death. Daughter, this is your role to your parents and read this verse. Children's role to their parents. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 children obey your parents in the lord for this is right Karina, read this verse ephesians chapter 6 verses 2 and 3 there is a promise of god if you obey your parents honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy a long life on the earth 